balls. Oh man, this brings me back to my playing days. I have here two footballs. Yeah, man. I shut up. I don't know which one is which. I'm just gonna back up a little bit and toss them each to Billy. Billy's gonna catch them and finger them a little bit. He's gonna finger my balls and he's gonna he's gonna determine which one is the one that's underinflated. Clinger, you know the answer, right? Yep. You know which one is which. I got it all figured out. Goose believes in me. I believe in me. Here we go. All right. I'll do it your way, bro. Yeah, you're going to do it my way. Trust me one. All right, here we go. So I'm the ref now. Right, right. So Michaels is doing an out pattern. He's just going to go out, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I was. I thought we were doing Julian Edelman. My bad. Okay. All right. Ouch! Okay. All right, here we go. No, I did not. Here we go. This is it. Coming awesome. in from the sidelines. Here All you right. go. What do you think there, Blue? All right. Here comes the other one. All right. Oh, God. How do they feel there, Sporto? Well, they feel like footballs, I'll tell you All that. All right. All right. You recognize them as footballs, which uh, that's actually more than I thought you'd be able to do. Oh. Mm -hmm. You want to sniff them? Uh Yeah, there you go. Yeah, his fingers aren't even on the laces. What is wrong with you? <laughs> they are! When was, the, when was the last time you ever played football? Ah, gee, hey, hey, I got a laptop here. Okay. All right. This, give me that one again. Okay. I got it. All I right. got it right here. Okay. This one is softer. This one right here in my right hand is softer. I am going to say this is the one, it's under inflate. This one has 12 and a half pounds. This one has 10 and a half pounds, right? All right. Bruce told us it's down by two pounds, right. correct? Yep. No, I'm going to change. No, wait. <laughs> it's like who wants this is the you? one. Wait a second. Yeah, this is the one that's underinflated by two pounds. Okay, let's not say which is which. This is the one. That's the one, okay? Before you tell us, Klinger, in the course of a game, as a ref, would you think you'd be able to tell just by somebody throwing that to you and you setting it down to play the next No play? way. Okay. No so, way. So... The refs probably are not complicit. They no, just can't tell. You can't tell. But Two you, pounds difference, you absolutely cannot tell. But you can because, because you've awesome. got to really manipulate it, grab it, squeeze it, what? touch it. Thank you. And you sniffed it. And, okay. Clinger? I'm sorry, but you got it backwards. Yeah! And he spiked it. Do, do the do the two thumb test. What's the two thumb test? Give me give me the. Okay. Okay. Thumb it in. Yeah. Really get your fingers in there. Good. Thumb those balls. No, clinger's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Try it on the side, not on the tip. Oh, really? You're uh, okay, the, but still, it's. Now, barely, not being able to tell, as you couldn't because you guessed wrong, Right. do you think it has any difference at all to a quarterback who's playing in a rainy game? Boy, and I'm not, I, I have so little athletic ability, I can't possibly even begin to imagine how. Okay. Well, fair enough. I mean, that's, so that's what they're trying to determine, whether or not two pounds... It makes any kind of big difference, but I, I still stay. I still stand by what I said. If you're an older quarterback and your hands aren't as strong as they used to be, and your arm strength isn't what it used to be, an underinflated ball will throw faster and therefore more accurate. And if this is the reason you lost by 40 points, let's hook those guys up with Bruce, and they should play badminton <laughs> at St. Ambrose. I think that's a.